Hello everyone, and yeah, once again, welcome to my uh, channel. Uh, we talk more on project management, service now, uh, agile, Scrum, and all those cool things. Today's tutorial, uh, we're working, uh, working with you guys on how you can generate a report, right? Uh, using service now. Service now is really getting more broader and broader. So you now have Agile 2.0 all in service now. And also to service now, you have a lot of things, right? Ranging from change, ranging from HR can use, ranging from incidents. And it's good that at the end of the day, right? As you build in your different uh, dashboards, you need to generate reports, right? So in today's change, uh, in today's uh, tutorial, I'll be working you guys on how you can generate a change. I mean, you can generate your report and how you can export it, okay? So um, without any waste of time, let's just jump straight into it. So when you come under your filter, just type your report. And then <clears throat> once you type reports, it's gonna pop up. So you have, different stuff that you have in here when you come under your reports this is where you need to go getting started view or run create new uh, schedule reports so this is now when you are now like you are consistent you have your monthly reports that you're generating you can then now set your dashboard you can then now you know maybe like as an admin um get your scripts that automatically generate that um but today we're gonna create new report. So let's create in our new. Um, once we create our new, uh, this uh, interface is gonna pop up. Once it pops up, then we will then uh, follow the steps accordingly. So now you can now see that we do have a blank space that just kind of pop up here. Sorry, not a blank space, but my computer is a little bit slow. Sorry about that. Um, once now your report comes here, the asterisk here indicates that. They must be this field must be filled, okay. And one of the things that I'm using the free version of uh, of, uh, of 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 service now. So uh, so the first thing you need to put here will be your uh, the report title. So here we're just gonna say it's a test. And then our report name. Let's just ask ourselves like this report name is also same like the title name, right? So um we can just say complete stories in the sprint we completed this story within this sprint so um each time the stories that are completed from here you can see your carryovers from here you can see the stories that demos are pending you can see the stories that may be like um uh the development is still on it you can also you can also see your stories that um you still have maybe like some few work that needs to be done on it. So those are some of the type of reports that you might like to generate. Then the most important place is this is your source, right? So it depends on how you guys are storing your stuff through data or tables or whatever. But every organization differs. How you did the with the same service now, different companies have their own customized the way they want. So now, in this uh, in this case, let's use tables. So once we select tables, you now come now here on your date. Sorry, we uh, let's say yeah, let's go with data source for the sake of just this uh, uh tutorial. But know that at your place of work, you need to be very precise and specific. If you guys are storing stuff in data or is using using tables, you need to indicate that. Now, let's look at incidents that were all closed. Once we select now this, you can now see that it's telling us that our, we are looking for incidents that have already been closed. And now you can see here that uh, this description there is no uh, there is no description for this data source to add description, please. Now. When you proceed, there are other ways that you can make this more precise and more specific. Okay, you customize it according to your environment, according to the settings of your organization. Here, we're going to create next. Or we're going to click next. So once we click on next, it's going to pop up here. This visualization is going to pop up. 
So, how do you want to see it? Do you want to see it in a bar chart? Do you want to see it in an histogram? Do you want to see it horizontally? Do you want to see it maybe like in a period in a period? Two? So it all depends on you, right? You want to see it in form of a donut? You want to see it like a pie? You want to see it like a semicycle? Okay. So all these things are the ways that will ease you to interpret that data. If you're in an organization where you have like maybe millions and millions and millions and millions of data that you want to proceed. So I always like to go with the histogram because it makes it a lot more easier for me to see how things are being done. So now I'm going to click next. So once I click next, you will now see now here. Uh, this is now you can see incident businesses resolve time. It gives me like all the different incidents that you now see now here. Okay. So if I should scroll this by the right, you will see that there are still multiple that are way out here, right? It gives you all the total number of incidents, all the number of time, and all those type of cool stuff. Now, once we have now this, okay, let's run it. Once we run it, this is what we now have, okay? So once you now have this, so sorry, let me uh, scroll this at this other side. Have multiple uh, multiple pages open. So now you can now see. Okay, so it's now telling you that these are the data source. Talking all of this and my style, I took a histogram. Then I can then now save this. Okay, once I save this now, it makes it a lot more easier for me now to share. Okay, so if you come now on this uh, drop down menu here. Can insert, I can update, I can also like insert it and stay, I can also save the data source as well. If this is something that I'm is a recurring data that I would like to be generating, then I would I would definitely I would definitely save it. Especially when you have added some queries to make it more precise and more specific. So you try to do that. But each time you come right, you select it the same, then you run it because you'll not be having the same data again. Then now I can now share this. As I click the share button, it's going to ask you the way you want to share it. You want it like you can set it to be a schedule, right? Each time you run it, it automatically shares. But this is a free version. You will not have some of those uh, some of those services where that is what you try to get and other style of stuff. But you still need to plug in some few data where it's going to go. Either like you can now add this to your dashboard. Um, if in if you follow if you've been following me, you will see that I created I I made a, a video where you can you can actually uh, create a dashboard for yourself, create a dashboard for your company. If you guys are working on incidents, you can know the incidents that have been open, the ones that are closed, the ones that have passed the due date for change control, change control that they are still in open state, the ones that are in review state. You can create all those dashboards once you come in. As you're entering service now, that will be your first look that you're going to see. Check that video down uh, in, in all my videos. So then also, too, you can export it as a PDF. Now, when it comes to export, not everyone should have access to your board. And when you are exporting your data, you need to make it more precise and specific to specific people, right? Those that are not permitted to see it, they are not supposed to see it. So exporting it through PDF is one of the cool things that I do because it helps me to save it. Once I save it, then I can send it to an email to specific people. So that was all what we have for this video. I want to know if you have any question, every, any concern, please drop it in the, the, in the comment section. And if you want to know anything about ServiceNow, feel free to ping me. Uh, I'm more than happy to help. So once again, if you like this video, hit the, uh, the like button, please share and also drop constructive comments. Once again, this is a free version of, of ServiceNow. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And until then, see you. Thank you.